Right, so, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and gentle beings of all persuasions. I am that mysterious traveller through the dimensions known as Irish Wild Time. Now, I've never really stayed anywhere for very long, although I did do 1972 about seven times. <laughs> A little bit of unfinished business. Now, my transport of delight is the number 22 to Putney Common, my trusty double-decker bus. Now, mine's a bit smaller on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> maybe, do you know, maybe it would look a little bit more natural on Regent Street, you know, in the pouring rain, pulling up at a bus stop on a dark December night. Ding, ding! All its lovely windows lit up. And me antiques and me little knick-knacks placed and arranged just so. Oh, but those windows, oh, they rattle eerily in the time winds. So I pop on a cassette, you know, a bit of Scylla or Dusty or, oh, Shirley. <laughs> and I sit in the cab of my bus and I steer through the cosmos. I am a transtemporal adventurous. Oh, yes, indeed. So, for the uninitiated, that means I'm a lonely traveller in the wilderness of all time and all space. Oh, yes, and the other dimensions, too. Other dimensions? Auntie Iris, I hear you say. <laughs> what are they when they're at home? <laughs> well, let me tell you. They're mysterious. Oh, oh, yes, they're blooming mysterious. And through the mists of time, here I come. I also investigate spooky things. I go up to maniacs and monsters and fascists and I poke them with a big stick. <laughs> I'm a writer of wrongs. And, well, sometimes I'm a wronger of rights. <laughs> Now, I mean, what does it really matter if I'm occasionally off me head? I mean, who cares if I dash about the universe and sometimes I'm a little bit diddly? I mean, look at me. Look at me. And what do you see? A beautiful, sexy, intelligent, independent lady of means. Oh, yes, I'm quite surprised I realise that. <laughs> but, you know, you know, lovies, my life isn't... Well, it isn't without its disappointments. I've, well, I, I, I have had my letdowns and, do you know, as it happens, I've been very unlucky in love. I mean, I'm always chasing after rainbows. I'm always hankering. I mean, it's not been a good weekend if you haven't had a good hanker, is it? <laughs> and the pining. Oh, lovies, you just don't know the pining. If you haven't done it in time and space, there's nothing... Nothing to make you feel more alone than sitting aboard a bus by yourself in deep space. Oh, the miasma of stars all around you, the endless void, the echoing nothingness of outer space, the shrieking hollowness of eternity. <laughs> oh, it's bloody awful. <laughs> Do you know, sometimes... Sometimes complete freedom is a... A very, very lonely place to be. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Do you know, sometimes I bump in to an old friend of mine, you know, that other traveller, you know, the one in the blue box. <laughs> I even remember when he used to be a bloke. Do you know, I have very lonely thoughts about his existence as I trundle along. So what I do is this. I put on a little tape and I crank up the sound and I think about throwing a party. Who can I invite? Where can I land? Where would be a, an exciting place to visit and explore? The multiverse is my oyster. I just need to find an offie and stock up on bottles and some nibbles. <laughs> You know what, Chucks? You're all welcome aboard the bus. You'll be waiting for something new to happen, something startling and wonderful and, and crazy. And that will be the day 
when you hear a bus coming down the street and you'll hear ding ding all aboard and someone will come and sit beside you. Is it a mad woman? Oh, is it a vagrant? Oh, no, don't tell me she's drunk. <laughs> and here, I'm here now. I'm your Auntie Iris. And I'm here to rescue you. I've got a bus parked just round the corner. A bus? Oh, yes. A very special bus. But you don't have an Auntie Iris. Oh, yes, you do, lovey. And here I am. Now, come on, stop looking so mopey. We've got a party to go to. Way! <laughs>